Welcome back. Some good news for today. Better air quality out there. Absolutely. Now, as you look outside, you might be kind of questioning that. And that is because we still have a little bit of lingering smoke. But the winds have shifted due to a cold front yesterday. And that is going to be what helps mm -hmm. us see those improvements. So here's what it looks like outside right now from Gustavus Adolphus College. We're seeing a little bit more blue skies and sunshine out there. A little bit of cloud coverage here and there. Now, this is not all smoke down here at the surface. We are dealing with a little bit of fog mixed with a little bit of smoke. So that going forward, we'll see all of that improve as the morning goes on. However, we are for most of the area seeing that unhealthy for some too unhealthy the more east you head as far as air quality goes. Now you're probably going, well, if we're like this, how are we going to see those improvements? Hang tight, I'll explain that in just a second. Now here's a look at that visibility again. This is not all smoke at the surface. It is a little bit of fog mixed in. I believe up to our north and central and portions of central uh, Minnesota, they are dealing with um, a dense fog advisory, but not here in southern Minnesota. Six miles here in Mankato, we are down to zero in both Albert Lee and Owatonna, half a mile in Forest City. We're at a mile in Mason City with two and a half miles in Jackson and Olivia, just under two miles in New Ulm and a quarter of a mile in Hutchinson. So just be mindful that some areas are experiencing some drastically reduced visibility, again, mostly due to some fog mixed with just a little bit of lingering smoke out there this morning. Temperatures not too bad as we go through the morning. We're anywhere in those 60s at 66 degrees here in Mankato. We're seeing as low as 60 degrees in Glencoe. We're at 68 in Algona as well as in St. Peter and 62 out by Slayton and Worthington. So a little bit of a comfortable start out there, a little bit muggy, and that's why we're seeing some areas of fog across portions of southern Minnesota and northern Iowa today. Now here's why we are going to see a change in that air quality. Right now you're probably going, well, winds are calm, and calm winds mean there's not enough pushing to push that smoke out of the area. Well, you're right. Right now, most of the area dealing with calm winds up to 10 miles an hour, but the good news is we had a weak cold front move through. So where we are seeing some wind speeds, it is mostly coming out of the north northwest. By this afternoon, winds are going to increase up to about 15 miles an hour with occasional gusts up to 20 miles an hour. That will be enough to push some of this surface smoke out of the area, leading to what we like to see much, much better improvements with our air quality, anywhere from good to moderate. And remember, yellow or moderate just means those that are extra sensitive to wildfire smoke may have some effects going through today. Otherwise, everybody else will be able to enjoy the day. Now, we are mostly clear, but we are going to see a gradual increase in cloud coverage. But don't worry, we'll see those clouds clear out, leading to mostly sunny skies by this afternoon. A couple isolated thunderstorms possible this evening, but those will clear out by 10 o'clock tonight leaving behind partly cloudy skies as we go into tomorrow. Another couple isolated showers out to our west tomorrow early afternoon. A couple isolated thunderstorms along I-90 tomorrow evening, moving eastward as the night goes on. 87 for the high today, a little hazy as we continue to see that smoke clear out of the area. Isolated evening thunderstorms as we drop to low 65 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast, looking at those mid to upper 80s going through the rest of this week. 90 on Monday. Looking at those late night storms returning for the 4th of July. Kelsey, Lisa.